guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Lindsay and I am here with my daughter Georgia's five month update. So my daughter Georgia Aurora was born on September the 17th. So this update I am filming at the very end of her fifth month. I was kind of waiting as always to kind of see all of the developments that she has uh, in that month and now it's uh, at the end, so it's time to film the update. Today is <laughs> Today is March the 12th, 2021. And I actually just had to check the calendar <laughs> because I couldn't remember what day it was. Anyway, so Georgia is on the ground. Well, not on the ground, but in her uh, lounge chair playing with a little book. I will show her uh, later on in the video as she seems to be fairly calm right now. <laughs> so, some stuff about Georgia. So, for sleeping, uh, she has all of her naps in the crib ever since we moved her into the crib um, about, I think it was about the end of January. Um, and the odd one, it happens that I have to hold her for. On Friday that happened, as well as on, I believe it was Tuesday or Wednesday this week. I think it was Wednesday. And she was just very, very cuddly. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And Wednesday, I tried three times to put her down in the crib. And she would flail her arms, open her eyes, and start to cry. <laughs> so I eventually just gave up and was like, okay, clearly you want to have your nap in my arms this time. So occasionally that definitely still happens. It's not super frequent, but in the last few days it seems to have been that way. She typically has kind of cat naps. Uh, in the beginning of five months, of her fifth month, she would have like really cat naps, like 15 to 25 minutes. Now she's gotten a bit better uh, as the month has gone on, especially on the weekends for whatever reason recently, she's been having like one to two hour naps but only on the weekends <laughs> and um, she's getting a bit better also on her naps in the day, in the morning. The morning's always a bit um, shorter where it was going a good 15 to 20 minutes. Now in the last couple days it's been 40, 35 minutes and then in the afternoon there's a chance it could either be a short cat nap or a longer one. And then, so she's having three naps a day typically, but then there will be the day like yesterday where she just didn't have her third nap. She had two and that was it. She is sleeping through the night. Last night was a kind of random night that doesn't really happen too long. She's been sleeping through the night since she was eight weeks old, but, uh, and we never really had a true four month sleep regression, kind of, uh, as I had said in her four month update, it was kind of like with weird naps, but um, last night she had a bottle at seven and that one is kind of, it's always a bit up in the air if she will have another bottle at about 10 or not. Sometimes she will, sometimes she won't. She ended up waking up at like just minutes before midnight last night, like as soon as I turned off the computer and was like, okay, good, I'm gonna go to bed, <laughs> she woke up. <laughs> and I was uh, editing the Newborn Essentials video, which should already be up by the time that I have this up. So I will link it in the cards, which I think should go up here. <laughs> Do you wanna come up? So this is Georgia. <laughs> she really likes uh, hitting the table now. That's become her favorite new thing to do recently, in about the last week actually. <laughs> and um, as you can't really see, but I've got like the kitchen table here. What do you see? Oh, the kitchen lights. <laughs> anyway, uh, so she loves hitting the table and also uh, placemats actually. Um, I just have lift, you can't see the table because otherwise I've got my notes here. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, so last night she, I fed her, changed her, she was wide awake, and she'd already slept for about three hours and 20 minutes. And I'm sorry, that's my bottle sterilizer. <laughs> and I was trying for a while until about 12.40 to put her down in the crib, but every time I would put her down, 
she would open her eyes and flail her arms and I'm like, no, you're way too awake. But I was tired, so uh, it came out and we sl well, slept on that angle of the couch till 3.30 in the morning and then I tried to put her in her crib again and she would keep waking up and uh, so I was holding her and then at a certain point I was like, you know what, I just, I'm gonna see like if you put yourself to sleep if I put her in the crib, in fact, put her, tucked her in, gave her her soother and she actually did fall asleep until about <laughs> almost seven this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel tired. I was, I was like, let's see if you want to sleep anymore. Gave her her soother. She actually did fall back asleep till 7.50. So that was at least something. Anyway, um, so, you know, there will be the odd night where it's a weird night like that. But by the large, she does sleep um, through the night. And she's actually been going to bed earlier because I know in the last update I had talked about how she was kind of going through a phase again where she would go to bed like near midnight and we had no evening. She's gotten tired, she's gone through a phase now where she gets tired closer, kind of around 8.45, which is awesome. And um, she's not too difficult to put to bed most nights. She'll just kind of fall, fall asleep, kind of conk out. And um, so that's actually been really good because it's actually given us more of an evening, um, you know, not necessarily it's not necessarily like relaxing like maybe a lot of the time i'll end up like okay i have time to like have a shower and like you know, fold a mountain of laundry <laughs> and then it's time for bed anyway but sometimes i'm able to get some other stuff done if um if everything works out i don't have a pile of laundry to fold <laughs> also she is now drinking 240 milliliters of milk so we've got her pediatrician appointment actually on the 17th which is the day she turns six months old. So we're gonna see how big she is. I'm kind of thinking that we need to upgrade to size four diapers. Pretty sure she's at the very edge of eight kilo, well, maybe not necessarily the very edge, but like, I'm pretty sure she's about seven and a half kilos now. And the size three really is up to eight. It's up to nine, but I always find that the kilo before is really when you kind of start needing to move out of that size. So. Gotta look up some size four diapers, I believe, which is crazy, but I guess it makes sense at this point. And uh, yeah, so she put on a little bit of extra weight, but I find that um, a lot, she has certain six months pants that like are, would be right for the length, but the width of the waistline is like significantly too big. Like not just a bit, like if they're big enough that like she wouldn't be able to keep the pants up. <laughs> so, but luckily she got like a lot of pants that fit her otherwise, so it's not really a problem. And also, so at about five and a half months old, she discovered her toes. For like nine days, she only had discovered her right toes and her right foot. And I kept kind of showing her like, look, you've got like toes on your left side too. <laughs> and eventually, nine days later, she figured that out and grabbed them. But she's probably going to be right-handed, my husband said, because she's always grabbing her right foot with her right hand. And it's a lot more rare that she'll grab her left foot. <laughs> she loves bath time and splashing around in the little baby bathtub. She has become quite the splasher, actually. She, like... It really quite drenched me. One night I had to change, go out to shower, have a shower first because <laughs> because uh, she had gotten my shirt quite wet actually, uh, and my my husband has to pull out the mop because we we bathe her on the on top of the kitchen table here because we don't have a bathtub unfortunately in our bathroom just a shower which actually really sucks <laughs> um, because my husband and I would love to have baths but anyway uh, she. Actually, she's not doing this so much anymore, but earlier on in the month, uh, she was, she would, you know, dunk her hand in the soapy water and then start sucking her hand and I would have to constantly wash off the soap. But now she's taken to, when it's bath time, grabbing my hand and bringing it to her mouth like this portion and like kind of chomping down on my mouth, on, on my hand. <laughs> also right now, apparently. <laughs> um, that's pretty cute. Do you want to soothe her? <laughs> um, speaking of, and then she's been like, 
I don't know. She's been showing signs of teething pretty much like for the last month. So since she had like her shots uh, about a month ago, actually, because it was February the 9th. And I don't know, like she was kind of irritable for a fair amount of time after the shot because I think she was also going through like a kind of growth spurt or leap at that moment as well. And I couldn't really tell if she was teething because she's just been drooling like a lot the last month, but no teeth have come out. So, I mean, I'm just, now she's like completely at the point where any could show up. And like sometimes I would give her the like frozen teaser and she would calm down. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. One day she had like flaming red cheeks and it was not that long after she'd had her shot and I gave her Tacaparina for babies, which is like baby acetaminophen, I guess. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, it should be like baby Tylenol basically in North America, but it's something obviously was disturbing her that day because it, it helped her and she calmed down because she just seemed like she was in pain and I... I wasn't sure if she was still having the effect of a, sh a shot or if she was teething. Um, anyway, did that. I haven't had to since, but uh, as you can see, she's getting as you can see, she's getting so much more interested and active in things around her. She is putting so many more things in her mouth, um, and she has this like one lobster. Uh oh, this one lobster like, from my childhood that she really likes and I, I, well, I had nicknamed it Lobby the Lobster when I was a kid, so it's kept that nickname and she really likes to put it in her mouth and also this little polar bear that I had as a child as well, Polly the Polar Bear. You can see the trend of how I named my um, stuffed animals when I was a kid, but anyway. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so she's really liking some stuffed animals and just playing and yesterday she spent an hour on her play mat you want to go up on the on the table here we go uh she spent an hour on her play mat practicing rolling over well not rolling to the side really she's not she's not rolling over yet she's trying and we're working on it and i'm trying to help her but she hasn't quite made it yet but she's really uh practicing rolling to her side she's got that down and uh, she is also, we're practicing sitting up. She's really trying, hasn't really managed, hasn't managed to yet. Um, but sometimes she will get bored of um, lying down on her playmat and want to sit up. And then, so I'll be playing with her, uh, helping her sit up on the playmat. And that's like fun for her. So she'll bat at her like little jungle gym over there, sitting up. And it's like something new for her and exciting. Oh, and one other thing, <laughs> she's spending significantly less time in her koala carrier for kind of two reasons. One, she's too heavy, frankly. Like I can wear her for like a half an hour and then like I need to take her out. <laughs> um, and also that she herself kind of doesn't really want to stay in there quite as much anymore. She'll kind of get tired of being in there, start to kind of try to escape <laughs> from it. Um, and so, uh, I still have it. In fact, it's drying right now because now it's difficult to have her in it for too long either anyway because she will like soak the thing with drool because she likes to suck on it and I will give her a soother and she'll spit it out and go for the koala carrier fabric. <laughs> uh, and so what happens is that she drenches herself then I have to change her typically her shirt and maybe her sweater. And then sometimes she will like spit up over the koala carrier. So it gets pretty disgusting pretty fast. And the funny thing, I don't think I ever mentioned this in the previous updates, but from basically when she learned to smile, which was just before four months old, um, you know, when I would think, because she has like the specific cry when she wants the koala carrier. <laughs> and I would... I found that when that is what she wanted, that I would put her on the couch, be like, okay, we're gonna take out the koala carrier. Do you want the koala carrier? And I'll show her it. And she will always, if that's what she wants, she'll smile, which typically that is always what she wants. Um, anyway, she will smile when I pull it out. <laughs> like, I oh, guess it's exactly what I wanted. So that's fun for me to know that, you know, I figured it out what she wanted and that she smiles <laughs> when she was, she's like, ooh. 
over a billion koala carrier. She's got a great neck support from, I guess, all of the tummy time that we've been doing. Yeah, really good neck support. And like, I think a few weeks ago, quite a few weeks ago, I noticed like for the first time she had done like basically the full on like cobra pose in yoga on her um, changing pad when I was getting her ready for her bath or I think after the bath. And she doesn't always sit up like that much on her arms, but like that time she really did like the full on cobra. I was like, wow. So super strong neck support. And she's really ticklish actually. She's getting ever more ticklish. Like when she first started, I guess, at the last update, laughing. You had to really work to coax it out of her. Whereas now, like sometimes by complete accident, I'll like be kind of caressing her belly and like, I guess it gets ticklish and then she'll start to laugh. Uh, so she's quite ticklish, like belly, underarms, feet, like very ticklish. As for food, we're gonna get her started, like I guess uh, next week. So I've, um, as soon as we've gone to the pediatrician, so we'll see what he recommends, you know, if he recommends purees, if he recommends baby led weaning, we will see and uh, go with, I guess, what he recommends. I've got some bowls and spoons and stuff. I want to order like an adhesive one so she can't like lift it off of the um, play off of the high chair because now with like my our own meals, like, she will want to sit at the table with us to eat and she will then of course grab our bowls. So <laughs> I'm thinking that the adhesive one on Amazon would be really good, so I need to find a chance, a moment to look for that. I'm getting bored. It's almost time for her ball, actually. The sterilizer's done. Yeah, it's about time for her, her next meal. Uh, anyway, so I'm excited to start giving her some food aside from milk. She's super, super, super interested in our food, and we'll give her like you know some drops from like an orange or whatever, but. Um, that's it because I wanted to wait to hear from our pediatrician and what he recommended because of course she is my first child and so I really don't know <laughs> uh, what I'm doing <laughs> so with the food things anyway so yeah she has a high chair but she kind of prefers the lounge chair or just sitting in our lap like this when we're eating <laughs> and then grabbing our stuff and and that is basically everything for Georgia. So uh, it's just so fun seeing her really start to be so much more interested in, you know, playing. And I think it's time to stand up, uh, playing and, you know, just getting so much more interactive. And it's super fun. And yeah, here she is, <laughs> basically. And she loves like moving her legs always. Um, and like if she wants you to walk around the house, like she'll move her legs and it's kind of like, <laughs> go walk, walk me around the house. Um, kind of like this. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for watching and please press like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps out my channel and subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys next time. Bye.